What was it like to be awake during the procedure? Because you were awake, correct? I was. I was awake. It was, you know, very similar to a C-section. You have the curtain. So I couldn't see what was going on, but I could hear everything. And so, you know, I was trying to listen to what the doctors were saying, listen to how it was going. You know, luckily, the anesthesia team up by my head, they were, you know, talking me through what the doctors were doing, where we were in the procedure. And when I got out of the procedure and back to my room with Anthony and my mother, I said, you know, I think it went really well. And he said, well, why do you think that? I said, because when we were leaving, you know, the whole team, all the doctors, they were just standing there in a line and they were all smiling. And you were in such good hands. Just a handful of doctors perform this fetal aortic valvuloplasty in the U.S. Lorenzo's team with the congenital heart collaborative at UH Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital are here to celebrate in the success. Pediatric cardiologist Dr. Amy Armstrong and Dr. James Stranick both join us now. And first off, docs, let me just say how much respect we have for the work that you do. It is truly <laughs> remarkable, your dedication to trying to keep these babies alive. Can you just give our viewers an idea of what it's like to operate in utero and how small these, these babies are that you're working on? The fetal heart's about the size of uh, uh, a small strawberry. The, um, uh, we're so lucky to have Dr. Armstrong join us from um, Michigan. Uh, she now uh, works at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus. And uh, she brought the uh, wealth of information on how to do one of these procedures from her time in Michigan and to bring this procedure to Ohio. It's been quite a blessing for everybody. So, to put it in perspective, the heart's the size of a strawberry. What would be the size of the aortic valve? About the size of a, uh, a pen cap. Um, the, uh, it's about. Um, Four millimeters, pretty, pretty darn small. Docs, we have an animation. I was hoping you could walk us through exactly how this works. So Dr. Stranick images the fetus and the heart for us with ultrasound. And then Dr. Ellie Ragsdale, our obstetrician, takes a small needle and advances it through the mother's abdomen into the uterus, directly into the chest wall of the fetus between the ribs and right into the heart. And then I take a catheter that's like a long piece of spaghetti that has a wire through it and advance that through the needle. The wire goes across the valve that's narrowed, the aortic valve, and then we feed the catheter over that wire. And the catheter has a little balloon on the end that's about four millimeters, and we inflate that balloon to open up the aortic valve tissue. And then after that, we just remove everything. The wire, catheter, and needle comes out. And in Lorenzo's case, we only had the needle in the uterus for five minutes and in the heart for four minutes. So it's a pretty quick Truly procedure. Truly remarkable. And can you tell us a little bit about the prognosis for the baby? Prognosis for Lorenzo is great. Uh, we expect him to live a completely uh, normal life. Wow. He might not be able to play. Um, but, uh, he's going to do great. He's really doing really well right now. And obviously, Lorenzo's going to grow. Will his heart, will, the, will his valve grow proportionately, or will he need uh, changes along the line? He did need another ballooning um, at about three weeks of age that went uh, really well. And he may need one of those again later. He will probably need another procedure on his aortic valve in the future, but it will continue to grow with him. And uh, like Dr. Stranick said, he should lead a completely normal life. We're just so thrilled that it went so well. This is such a great story, full of love and hope. And I just want to say, Lorenzo is very lucky to have you as parents, but I also want to give a shout out to one of your other kids because I heard your four-year-old made a deal with God and told God he would give a piece of his heart to help Lorenzo. He did. Yep, that's, Lucas said that, the one in the red shirt there. Give baby Lorenzo a big hug collectively from all of us here, and best of luck going forward. And docs to you all, I just can't thank you and your team enough for all the groundbreaking work that you're doing. Uh, continue you. to do what you're doing.